Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living Weekly Live broadcast on Sunday, April 21st of 2019. The Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives to create a sustainable environment and a peaceful world. Our world is full of ups and downs. <laughs> it's full of, you know, it's the, uh, we, we obviously, I guess, depending on what, um, on the day, the moment, and where you're looking, it's either a world of total chaos and separation and disharmony and oppression and cruelty and making lots of mistakes. <laughs> Or it's a world of peace and beauty and opportunity and joy and and um, all of these beautiful things that also exist. And all of these exist and all are true. And sometimes I guess our challenge is to make sense of it all and to find the beauty in it all and to uh, come to... Um, peace with our existence here and our journey here, why we're here, what the heck we're doing, how we're supposed to, I guess, find a life of purpose and fulfillment throughout all of the ups and downs and the, the, um, the chaos that can ensue here. Today is, uh, actually this weekend, is a time of three very holy holidays plus an incredible full moon. We have a Passover celebration happening this weekend with signifying the liberation of the Jews from slavery in Egypt. We have Easter celebration happening this weekend and today is the day of Easter, the resurrection of Jesus from the tomb after being persecuted and crucified. And it's also the weekend of Mid-Shaban, which is the night when Muslims ask forgiveness for their past mistakes and they ask for help with their difficulties in life so that they can begin a new life of virtue, of um, one of aligning with their values for the coming year. It's uh, said to be that time when your when your story for the coming re- year is written into your book. So it's your time of asking for uh, what you want to play out for the next year. This weekend also brought about a spectacular full moon. If you caught that on Friday, it was amazing and still looked amazing last night too. Now, astrologically, and I'll admit I get my um, astrological information from following Karen Curry, who is now Karen Parker of Human Design, who um, I love the way that she shares information about what's happening in the uh, in the stars and in the charts and how it's affecting the movement of our energy on planet Earth. But according to um, uh, what I received from her, this full moon signifies a time of opening for exploring our values and aligning with what is most important for us in our lives, in our deep hearts, in our souls. You know, what is it that we truly care about and want to align with for the, you know, for what's coming. So all of this, and of course, you know, like the the full moon and the Passover and Easter and all of that are all tied together in the calendar. Mid-Shaban varies, and so having that also come uh, happen at the same time is a lot of significance, a lot of it based in history and tied with our astrological, um, you know, of, of the full, the timing of the full moon. A lot of it based in history, but what does it mean for us now? What does it mean for us now? That's the thing that we can always ask ourselves and um, I guess I neglected to say for whatever you celebrate 
Easter, Passover, Mid-Shaban, the moon. <laughs> I want to wish you the, the happiest and most joyful of days as you celebrate a time of resurrection, a time of breaking free, a time of turning over a new life, a new leaf, <laughs> turning over a new leaf to begin a new life of value and virtue. So today in our prayer and healing circle, we're going to take advantage of this time of what's moving in the stars, in the planets, in the moon, in the mass consciousness, in all of these very holy times that are being celebrated. And join together to explore for ourselves what this means for us. What is it what does it mean for you? Are there things from your past that you would like to release? Are there habits and um, beliefs and behaviors that you'd like to let go of, that you'd like to shift in your life? What are the values that you hold most dear in your heart that are most important for you? And how would you like to live out this coming year and beyond? Because honestly, it's more, it's about, you know, um, it's about how you want to shift from the inside so as to live in a different way, in a more fulfilling way, in a more heart-based, heart-aligned way in your everyday life from this day forward. That's what we're going to explore in today's Prayer and Healing Circle. So let's go ahead and come into our circle. Let's come into our circle, sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee. Coming into one big circle and together. Let's imagine, all imagine ourselves face to face with our source. Take a full and gentle breath and as you exhale, bring that funnel of energy at the front of your heart space, your heart center. Imagine it like an eye of your heart and bring the eye of your heart to face to the center of our circle. As if our heart centers are connecting us in one wheel and connected by the hub of the wheel. And we're all spokes on that wheel and as we come together, our circle forms that wheel. And together, as our hearts join as one, Let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. Our beloved, we call on you. We ask for your guidance. We ask for your help. We ask for your wisdom, for your knowledge, for your support, for your healing. We ask you to send your essence of your pure divine light to stream into the center of our circle. And imagine, if you will, or perceive in whatever way you perceive this stream of pure divine light streaming into the center of our circle. And you can tip your heart 
center, that funnel of energy. Tip that funnel up slightly to receive that stream of that divine light to flow through your heart and into the core of your being. And with each breath, breathe in through your heart center as if your heart were the breathing portal for your body. And let that breathe in this vibration of this pure divine light. And as you exhale, relax, release, and soften. Let your exhale carry away any of the clutter, any of the excess, anything that's there that you don't need, and let it just return it into the center of our circle, into this ocean of pure divine light as it fills the center of our circle, bringing the presence of that ocean to create the container of our circle. Breathing in that vibration of that pure divine light. Breathe that into your heart center. Allow that to flow gently into your heart, deeper with each breath. Exhale, relax, release, and soften. Allow your heart space to be cleansed, to be cleaned, to be dusted of its cobwebs, to be purified. With each breath, take that breath in a little bit deeper, breathing in that essence of that pure divine light and allowing that to stream through your heart center into the core of your being, touching into that essence of light that exists within you at your core. And as you exhale, relax, release, soften, and allow this stream to flow, allowing yourself to be connected and infused and showered with this light of pure divine light, this vibration, this essence, this gentle waterfall of pure divine light. And again, from our hearts, calling on our source, calling on your essence of your pure, unconditional love, the love that exists regardless of any conditions that we perceive or do not perceive in our human existence. This is a love that encompasses all. It's not dependent on us, thank goodness. Just imagine or perceive in whatever way you do this stream of pure divine light and unconditional love streaming into the center of our circle. This love streaming into the center of our circle. Breathe this in through your heart center, allowing your heart to fill with this pure essence of divine light and unconditional love. Breathe that in, allowing this to flow gently into the center of your heart and through that funnel of energy through your heart center and into the core of your being, filling all of the core of you with this pure essence of divine light and unconditional love. Let that funnel of energy at the front of your heart center tip up and receive this stream into your heart. Divine light, unconditional love. And again, from our hearts, calling directly on our source, asking to please send your essence of your pure divine compassion. And again, this is the existence of compassion. That is the ocean that we swim in. This is a compassion, again, that is not dependent on our states or whether or not we feel it in our hearts, it is what contains us and holds us in gentle loving kindness and mercy throughout all of our existence. 
as we travel this life journey on planet Earth. And breathe in this essence of pure divine light, the quality of Anur, of unconditional love, the quality of Al-Wadud, and of divine compassion, Ar-Rahman. Calling on this essence and breathing it in, taking this in through your heart center to stream into the core of your being, the core of your being that is divine light and unconditional love and loving kindness and gentle compassion and mercy. Allow this to fill your heart center, to fill your core. Allow yourself to receive. Take a full and gentle breath and let this land into your cells. Just invite this vibration to emanate from your core throughout all of your body to circulate to every cell delivering this nourishment of pure divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion. Every cell carries consciousness. We invite every cell of the body to turn to face toward this vibration of divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion to open and to receive and allow the consciousness of every cell to be washed and cleansed and purified, to return to your original existence of divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion. Now is a time for releasing the past, for releasing yourself from the constrictions of your past, from past oppression, from hardship, from mistakes. This is an opportunity, a special opportunity. to allow yourself to be set free so that you can rise up, break free, step into a new life that is aligned with your core essence, your core truth of what you really want to live in this world and what legacy you really want to leave in this world. So let's, as we breathe in this essence of divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion, allow it to touch into that place in your heart. That place in your heart, perhaps a place that has felt constricted, that has felt held back from living into the fullness of who you are, from really enjoying the, the, the fruits of your divine essence and your, your truths. If you feel places inside of you that are still holding on, and this is totally normal, natural, and human. We all have them. But for those places that are still bound by events of your past, let's take a moment and offer those into this ocean of divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion that fills the center of our circle. And as we offer these, just take a minute for you to make an intention, make a prayer, and give into the center of the circle 
any of those places inside of you that you are ready to release from you and release yourself from. And as you let them go, breathe in that divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion to fill that space and to heal any of those wounds inside of you that may have been holding on to any of these past events, experiences, feelings, emotions, beliefs, behaviors, habits. We offer those into the center of the circle. We call on our source, in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to please send your healing. We ask you, if you will, to send your prophets, your guides, your angels of healing, your helpers, your saints and perfected ones, all who are here to support us on this journey and on our quest for healing and wholeness. We ask you to please help us to release what is ready to release and to completely, completely be cleansed and washed and purified of any of the imprinting and the effects of these events or beliefs. all of these energies to be washed and cleansed and transformed so that we are completely released from the impacts of these events on our lives, our beliefs, our habits, And breathe in this essence of divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion. If you notice a place in your body, a sensation, or an emotion, or any kind of feeling, even the thoughts that come up, or just that twinge of knowing that pops in, breathe this essence of divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion. And ask for help. Ask for help directly from your source and from your guides, from your angels, from all who are here to support you on your journey. And let go of the past. Sometimes we fear letting go of the old because these things have come in for us because at some time they provided a sense of safety when we didn't know how else to live and to be in this life on planet Earth. All of these things, no matter how compounded or compacted, they may, no matter how compounded or compacted they may be, they have in some way at some time provided a sense of safety, a coping mechanism, a defense mechanism, a, a, a survival tactic, a strategy for how we're going to get through, how we're going to survive on planet Earth. Most of them are from the past and that they really don't have the same relevance in this moment. So now is this time. We can see this as like taking off the old layers, like the old suit that we've been traveling in. Like unzip that suit and take it off. That body suit. And let's just put that body suit into the center of our circle, into this container of divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion and allow yourself to step out. Step out of that that suit, that skin, and allow new skin 
to emerge from the depths of your being, from that core of divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion, that core of knowing of your divine truth and your divine alignment with your purpose and fulfillment on planet Earth. So all of that old, just let yourself shed it, shed that skin and place it into the center of our circle. Allow your angels, your guides, your helpers, your healers, your source to take that. In their wisdom, they know what to do with it. So trust them, allow them to take it. And what emerges from that old, as we said, in most cases it doesn't even apply anymore. It's just old knowing, old behavior patterns, old patterning. Allow that light, love, and compassion from within you, that spark of that core of who you are, allow that to become brighter and stronger. And let it carry you even deeper and deeper into your heart. that place of light, that place of strength, that place of certainty that knows your being as an essence, as, as a filled with the essence and at your core is the essence of your divine light, of your sacred essence. It contains all of the knowledge and the wisdom of why you're here, your purpose on this life, what will bring you the most fulfillment. And yes, your source and your angels and your guides are all here helping you to find this place of significance inside of you, of that which you value the most inside of you, of that which is going to give you the strength and the joy and the beauty and help you to realize your purpose and what will bring you the most fulfillment in this life. Sometimes we're afraid to shed the old because we're afraid something worse might be inside, right? Oh, gee, you know, I prefer to hold on to that because if I let go of that, no telling what's going to happen next, right? But the truth is that as we shed that old, we get closer and closer to living that divine truth, which is joy and fulfillment and purpose, which is that which your deep heart yearns for, your deep heart heart yearns to be in unity and oneness with your divine source, with the divine light, which brings you strength and brings you personal power and brings you fulfillment and brings you joy and brings you gratitude and brings you all of the gifts of giving. That this world that well, while you're here in this physical body has the opportunity to provide for you and you have the opportunity while you're here in physical body to receive and enjoy and experience all of this through your human existence. So again, continue to allow your being to be washed, to be cleansed and give all of that old stuff to your guides, to your helpers, to your source. And let's feel the gratitude of having this opportunity to shed this old skin. Let it be buried in the ground. Let it be transformed and allow your own self to as you're released from that, to break free and to rise up and to align with your truth, your divinity, your purpose, what will bring you joy, fulfillment, and gratitude in this life. And so let's take a minute now And again, let's just say thank you for what has been released. 
Continue to let it go and say thank you to your source for what is being released. Thank you to the angels and the guides and the helpers and the healers and all who are here and present. Let your heart feel the gratitude as you say thank you for releasing you from the constrictions, freeing you from the bonds. It's a time for letting go. Or your past mistakes, if you have past mistakes that you're struggling with. Let this be a time of remorse and forgiveness. Sometimes remorse feels like we're just going to grovel and beat ourselves up. But let it be the remorse and forgiveness together. The admission before your source, because everything is between you and your source. You and your highest power, you and God, you and your deepest heart let this all line up and if there is something there that you're struggling with from a past mistake or what feels like a mistake turn your heart directly and say I'm sorry ask for the forgiveness that you seek and let that be released from you. Allow it to be released. Allow it to be freed from your heart, from your body, from your soul. Let that be taken. The sincere remorse and the sincere asking for forgiveness is the doorway to releasing. So let it go And allow yourself to be realigned with what is right and true and virtuous for you, what you most value, what you wish to transform into or to live into. It's already a part of you and that's why you feel the disharmony of having experienced the mistake, what feels like the mistake. All all of it has wisdom. So as you feel that, make that remorse and ask for that forgiveness and let it go. Allow yourself to be released from it. Allow yourself to be realigned to that which you do desire inside of yourself. How you would live without the mistake, the virtue, the righteousness. It's when it's Call it that, but that which you value and care about the most, that which is important to you to live as a person of honesty and integrity and of purpose and fulfillment. Let yourself be aligned to that. There is a wisdom even beyond your own that will give you whatever it is that you have come here to learn from that experience and integrate that into your being so that you can live in the way that you're intended to live as you move forward from that old, that old patterning mistakes. And you move forward into the person who has learned and who now knows and can live into a truth that was stronger than what you knew before. Allow yourself to be aligned with that. Imagine yourself just taking off the old bodysuit and stepping forward with a new, fresh, pure skin. One that is aligned 
with your inner truth, your deepest truth. And take some moment as you as you breathe into your heart center again and feel what is that deepest truth for you. What is that which you yearn for and that which you value the most? Let your breath breathe into that place in your heart and let that yearning inside of you and that desire, that passion inside of you or that truth and fulfillment, let that be stimulated and activated with your breath like the breath is fanning the flames of the fire inside of you, allowing that fire to grow stronger and bigger and brighter. Feel that in your heart. As you breathe that light and love and compassion into your heart space, allow yourself to feel. And when you feel that place of yearning in your being, that yearning is like a tractor beam that calls you home to the truth of your own essence. We just call to every cell in your consciousness to align with that inner yearning and that inner truth and that inner light. Letting all of your cellular consciousness Line up with that depth of your heart and soul that knows what it's here for and what it yearns for. And invite every cell of your consciousness to say yes to this light. And allow your mind to say yes to this light. The mind is in service, meant to be in service to the heart and the soul and the body. Not meant to take over. It's meant to be in service. So invite it to witness this light, to witness this passion, and to say yes to it. To say yes to being in service to the light inside your heart. that sense of purpose and fulfillment at the depth of your soul. Breathe in this essence of divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion. As you exhale, relax, release, soften. And let every fiber of your being, body, mind, heart, soul, spirit, and even your highest intellect to say yes to aligning with the depths of your heart. That is aligning with your soul's intentions and purpose. And breathe and just feel your energy body shift. Feel your heart center shift. Just notice as the energy moves and shifts and changes through your body. Aligning with your core light. Just let yourself again step out of the old bodysuit and into the light. Saying yes to the light, yes to the light, yes to the light. And 
Just allow that old body suit to go right into that center of our circle, that divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion to be transmuted into what would serve its highest purpose. And let yourself be, if any of the hooks and cords and everything, just be put into that center as well. Allow yourself to step into the light to be rebuilt as a new creation. A new creation that is truly your original essence. That which you were created to be and to live into. And as you feel yourself transform, let's take a moment for gratitude and let your heart just bow in gratitude for what you have received. For what you are feeling. Let any of the divine knowing come into your consciousness and fill you with knowing, fill you with guidance, fill you with direction. And allow yourself to stand firmly in this new space. If it helps you, you can stand up, put your hands on your hips, what I call that, the Wonder Woman and Superman stance. <laughs> you know, with your feet about hip width apart, hands on your hips, chest lifted, and feeling that vertical alignment between your head, your heart, and your belly. Just letting that vertical core be strong and straight and letting that energy flow from the all the way through you, from the heavens and into the earth filling you with strength, filling you with courage, filling you with that personal power to align your will with the divine will at the core of your being. As you lift your chest and your heart and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. For the life you have in front of you and in you in this very moment. And a big breath and even more gratitude. Feel your feet on the earth. Stretch out your toes and stretch out your feet and feel your feet. Stand strong, planted on the earth in physical body a beam of light and love and compassion radiating vibrantly through this existence in physical form on planet Earth. And we'll be moving into the Q&A portion of our call. And I'll end the recording. For those of you listening to the recording, for leaving us at this time. Wish, I wish you a beautiful Easter day, Passover weekend, mid weekend, the radiance of the full moon. <laughs> and I, I wish you the most beautiful life from this day forward and gratitude for all the beauty that you've received to date. If you're listening to the recording again, you're welcome to join us live on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. You can find information on how to join us at joyfullylivingwellness.com. And just click on the tab for our weekly prayer and healing circle. You'll find all the information for how to join us live by computer or by phone. 
While you're there, you can pick up your copy of the 10 Spiritual Principles of Our Human Existence, which is a one sheet that will give you just a, a, a list of, of just the basic principles that this work is based on, why we're here, what this life is about, to help us to keep, and, and who we are, to help us to keep things in perspective as we move through this planet Earth, which is full by design, full of distractions that separate us from the truth of who and what we are so that we can just grapple with it a bit and figure out what is really true for us and choose consciously to align with that truth and return to the knowing at the depths of our own beings, our own beings of light and love and compassion. Now, I want to also remind you that this is a meditation that we embody. So I invite you to be fully present in your body, fully grounded, and carry this light in the world to be the change we wish to see in the world. The Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives, to create a sustainable environment and a peaceful world, to release all the blocks and barriers that keep us from living aligned with the truth of who and what we are, and to be the change we wish to to see in the world. And again, join us live. Find that information at joyfullylivingwellness.com. Thanks a bunch. I'll end the recording and open for Q&A.